All right, we have overhead club defense with close range. So my opponent is going to uh, swing overhead with one hand here. So uh, the key to the club defense is, is closing the gap, just like a lot of jujitsu. If I stay out here and he swings, and I stay in this power arc, you know, in this top third, that's gonna be the most damage. So even by stepping in a little bit, even if I still get hit, there's gonna be a lot less power there. So closing the gap takes away a lot of the power on a club, just like it does on a punch or a kick. And it also, I obviously have to be close enough to uh, initiate the grapple. So I don't want to uh, wait for my opponent to draw back, right? If I can close the gap and tie him up here and get a handle on the weapon immediately, that's what I'm going to do, right? If somebody comes at me with a weapon, I'm not going to wait until he starts swinging it before I act, right? If somebody comes at you aggressive with their fists clenched, it's going to be the same thing. So, uh, if he comes at me and he's already got it kind of wound up, he's got a back, right? This is gonna be uh, the most dangerous. It's like if he's already wound up for a punch. So um, if I can begin to close the gap as he's winding up, I'm gonna have a lot better success with this than if I wait until he's already got the club up, okay? So to, to summarize that, if he's got the weapon down and he's advancing at you, close the gap right there, tie up, get on the weapon, keep control, okay? If he's already wound up, this isn't ideal. I don't want to come into this. I'm going to keep my distance and maybe wait until he's already swung, and now this is a better opportunity to close the gap, okay? So... Uh, we're just going to assume for the sake of the move that I catch him winding up, okay? He winds up to swing. This is my opportunity to close the gap, okay? As he's winding up, I'm already moving in, okay? If I wait until he's already here, I'm walking into a powerful strike, okay? So, he winds up. I'm going to show the move, and then we'll break it down. Okay. And we'll hit it from some different angles so you can see what's going on here. So I'm closing the gap, getting a hold, uh, stuffing the arm, getting a hold of the weapon, and then sliding down to disarm. So I'm stepping in. I always want to make sure I'm blocking with two hands on this. One isn't going to be sufficient. Okay, I want to double my frame here. So if I step in and just try and block this with one hand, there's a good chance that all that power is gonna defeat my, my block. So what I'm doing is I'm creating an X here. That way it catches and it makes a really solid stop, okay? If he winds up, I'm closing the gap and stuffing that before it even becomes a downswing. So you can see I'm catching it as it's coming up, okay? So this hand, is going to be palm up. This hand is going to be palm down. The reason for that is so that I can sneak in and grab a hold of the club here. Okay. If I go palms out, I'm going to have to switch that hand anyways to get a hold of it. So it might as well just be here. Okay. So he winds up, I step in, block. Okay. The deeper I step here, the easier it's going to be to grab the club. If I stay head on, one, if this doesn't block, I'm going to get hit. So by sidestepping, even if this flows through, I've diverted that club around to where I'm not going to get hit. Okay. So I'm stepping in, blocking. I can continue to step around to get my hand on the club. From here, I want to collapse this arm down to his shoulder where it's weaker. If I leave it out here, there's a chance that he can push it down and get his other hand on, and I don't want that, okay? So, we're coming back up. We're here. I'm keeping the weapon away from him. You can see he's facing that way. 
I'm also staying away from the punch here. If I stay head on here, boom. If I stay clear to this side, even if that punch does come through, there's going to be a lot less power on it. Okay? So from here, we're going to turn just to this angle so you can see what's going on. I'm stuffing all of this down. This hand's going to slide to the end of the club. This gives me the leverage to peel this out. Okay. Um, one other thing that stepping to this extreme angle does is it's going to pull this club through the tips of his fingers here. If I stay straight on here, let's turn here. If I stay straight on with this, I'm pulling through more finger. But by stepping to the side, hopefully you can see that I'm peeling through the gap in the fingers. This also allows me to lever off of my own hand. My own forearm is the fulcrum on this. So it gives you a ton of power and leverage to take that club away. And now I have this angle here, okay? Still away from that punch. And I'm keeping a hold of this until I've got the weapon back, okay? I can continue to hold this or get away. Okay. So we'll go from this angle another time. Stepping in immediately, okay? The sooner I shut that arm down, the better. I can continue to move around to this side. Makes it easier to get that hand in. I'm going to collapse. Hand slides down. I'm going to open up even more here. Lever this straight up. And now I have this really great angle uh, to do with what you choose. Okay. So we'll go on this side. Okay. If he's wound up, I'm staying back. Okay. I don't want any of that. If we're closer, remember this is close range, I actually have an opportunity. If it's farther away, we're doing something else. Double frame, palm up. One of the reasons I go palm up here, anytime it's a club, I want to present soft, the fleshy parts of my body as padding. Okay. So if I miss this and he hits, boom, it's not going to hit bone as likely. Okay? So that's another reason why we go palm up. Pretty much all the club stuff is palm up, where knife is going to be uh, bone facing, backhand, because okay? that prevents the fleshy parts from being cut. So close range, boom, right here. Stepping to this angle so that I can reach. Collapsing down, stepping to the extreme angle, hand slides down, and I'm levering off of my own forearm right there. Boom. I just lift the club straight up. Okay. Close range, immediately closing the gap. Stepping to the side to grab. Collapsing, I'll shift over here so you can see. Sliding down, opening up, opening up the foot here so that I can lift better here. Boom, boom. 